Hello friends, in this program of data structure, I'm going to make use of stack that will be making use of an array and with pointer as well. So let me start to ex explain the following program. Here I have declared one has defined constant of size 10. So the array can be of maximum size 10. Okay. And then here I have declared a structure. So what is there inside the structure? The structure is going to have one array which will be of type integer. Since we know that a stack will be implementing, the stack often get implemented using array. Well, it can be also implemented through help of linked list, which we will do in upcoming session. So here we are going to make use of an array and the name of an array I have given as info and it has got a max size of 10, okay? And we all know that in case of stack, there will be an indicator that how far the value has been inserted and that will be done with the help of a counter called top. So this is basically going to work as a marker that will mark us that how, like where is the last value which we have inserted and or where from the insertion can actually take place. So this is going to mark the location where the insertion or the deletion will commence. I have made use of type tape over here to define a custom data type, okay? So the data type I have created uh, is of type struct stack and I have given the name as STK. You are free to choose whatever name you want. Following are the functions which we will be using in the program which we will see these are function prototype we, we will see these function prototype as the program goes on so let's come to the main function since with the help of type def we have defined a data type so i'm i need to define a variable of this particular data type so s is a variable of the type stk which basically consisting of this array and this variable called top apart from uh, s i have declared a couple of integer variable we will see what the role of these variables are well as we all know that in case of stack the top which is the marker will always be initialized with minus one that means it should be out of the entire array as the insertion takes place it will get incremented prior before inserting the value yeah you rightly heard before i insert the value i need to increment the top okay before I insert the value into the array, I need to increment the top because I need to evaluate whether there is a space available or not. If the space is available, then only we will be able to insert it, otherwise we won't. So that's the reason minus one is there because as a rule I just now said that you have to increment the value of top. So we will increment the top from minus one to zero and then we will be inserting the value at that given position. Well, following are the menu options which will be shown and at the very beginning the user can choose one which will represent as push or can go for pop which is of two. So let me run the program along with execution the thing will be much better. Yeah, over here it is. So suppose I want to go for push operation. Okay, I know that there is no value existing but just for the sake of curiosity, I just want to go for a pop operation. So if I go for pop, what I'm going to send over here, my my stack is, my structure type variable is already declared over here. I'm going to send the address of this particular structure. Since I'm sending the address of this particular structure, so I need to receive this address with the help of a pointer variable. And here it is, the pointer is going to be of type STK. And here it is. Now naturally the pointer, uh, already the top we have seen over here, the top is pointing to minus one. So when uh, we will go for PR or top, it will be minus one. In that case, it will say that stack is under flow and it will return. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to value two and I will be seeing the statement stack under flow because the top was having a value minus one. We all know that a structure type pointer variable when it points to any member of itself, a structure type pointer variable, this S is a structure type pointer variable of the type stack, when it will be accessing its member variable, it will always use the arrow operator and that's the reason why we are using an arrow operator over here. So p arrow top equals to the minus one and that was right and so the natural statement got displayed and the program got terminated from here and we are back with all the four options once again so let's go for the choice as one as i hit the enter which i didn't do yet it will give me a message called give enter uh, give element and here it is so suppose i'm going for the value 11 the moment i will hit the enter it will give a call to the push function that is again passing the address of the structure which we have declared over here and along with the value that the user has just now given that is 11 which is here inside the variable x 
and that's the reason this particular variable x was used and the choices was referred in the variable i over here so the push function will give a call uh, and the control will come over here so that is the push function will go to the p and the value 11 which the user has given that will be stored in the variable item now we are going for evaluating that whether p is pointed to the top which is max minus one or not obviously no because few minutes ago the top was just minus one so this condition is not going to work in that case the value 11 which is still there in the item has to be inserted into the array so the value 11 which is there inside the item has to be inserted within an array but before i insert the array i need to figure out where exactly the value should go so this is where the indexing is coming in picture i already said a structured pointer variable will be using an arrow operator to access its member and the member over here is info so that's the reason pr in arrow operator is used info and this is an address i mean this is an array so obviously i need to point the location where it is and that is what i'm doing with the prefix operator so plus plus p arrow top which means whatever value the top is having that will be incremented the top was initially having minus one so minus one plus one will make it zero so naturally this is where the zero position comes in that means p arrow info at the zeroth position the item the item that is 11 will be inserted i repeat again p arrow top so the value of top is minus one so i need to increment this value so how do i do that i will be using the prefix operator i already said before you insert the data into the array you need to check whether the data whether there is a space available or not then only you'll be doing it so uh, the prefix operator comes in picture and this is how we write in case of prefix operator plus plus p arrow so p is the structure pointer variable which is pointing to this particular variable called top or i can say the pointer variable is accessing the member uh, top with the help of arrow operator and since we are going for prefix so that's the reason plus plus is there that means minus one plus one will become zero and the zero comes in the uh, in the as an index of the info and there where the value gets stored so that's how the insertion will be taking place and and after that the control will come back over here once again and i can go for another fresh push operation over here the moment i do that it will ask me to enter a uh, new value and the same logic over here uh, the address of the base address has been sent and the value 22 is there in the x will come inside the item over here and the base address is coming over here and now we have already seen that the top was pointing the top was pointing last time what a zero position so which is not which is not at all max minus one in that case if condition doesn't work so the control will come over here and then we'll go for prefix so zero plus one will be one that means the info the info indexing is going to be one remember the info is also a member of the structure and we're accessing the structure member with the help of pointer that the reason arrow operator is also over here so that the one position the item 22 will be inserted okay that's how the thing will be going on until we reaches to the max minus one then 10 minus one max was having value 10 the 10 minus one as nine until the top is nine the control will keep on going for uh, will keep on inserting the value well there's no point of continuing so farther so just imagine if i have to go for the display operation that is pretty interesting when you go for the display operation you need to remember one thing the top is now pointing at the one position so you cannot alter or modify the position of the top because if you do that then the value will be lost in that case what we will be doing is that you have to use the you're not using over here address because you are not inserting nor you're deleting anything you're just going to print it so you just need to provide the content okay so that's the reason the address of stack is not sent over here we are just sending the s so let's go to the display function and here it is in the display function here it is we are just receiving the value and we all know that top is not minus one okay in fact the top is right now just one so what we are going to do is that we have just replicated the uh, the previous stk and we have inserted a new uh, variable over here so the value which we have given the s which is having the uh, the content of the stack is given into another variable called s2 so this is a replica of the previous array as i already said you cannot modify the value of top so it should be there intact because if you modify the value of top then in that case see you're going to print it right so when you're printing your printing should start from the zeroth position until where the top is there now if you think that you will bring down the top then the top will forget what was the last value it was holding so naturally you cannot do that so instead of that you will be using another variable and you will start moving that variable from the zeroth position and that's what we are doing it over here so what we are doing you are checking whether the top is minus one or not or it's not that so stack empty is not going to work out so it will come to the while loop so we are just going to minimize it 
one after the other. So from 2 it will come to 1 and from 1 it will come to 0. In that way it will be going on. So until the value comes to drop value comes to 0, it will keep on rotating. So let's go and check it out. Already we have given two values. So we will be going for the reverse display. And here if you find the value, the decrementing is from the from the above. So initially it was having 1. So 1 value when you got uh, displayed. So and then the top was decremented from 1 to 0. So 11 was decremented and again from 0 to become minus 1 and then it is going to be terminated. So that's how you can go for display. Display of the last in the last value which you have displayed from there the display is taking place over here because you are displaying with the max value of the top. And in the reverse case it will be just other way around. You have again you will be starting from the initial position and it will keep on moving forward in the reverse case. So let's see over here. We are starting from the 0th position. It will go up to the top. So that's the reason uh, the reverse will be taking place. So it, let's go and check it out as well. So number 4 would be the option. And here see from 0th position is starting until it reaches to the top position. It will be keep on printing. So I believe this particular program helped you an overview of how the whole thing is working. Please give a look to this. And if there is still any confusion left, don't forget to contact me okay so that's all for this video presentation have a nice time keep watching my video until then have a nice time